Now, we all started out as skeptics when examining a new scheme. You know, the one biomet scheme is no, etc. It sounds high polluting. However, once the components are examined, the outsourcing, the cooperation with other virus, cooperation with the health service, the insourcing of recycling, each element seems so much clearer, and yet they join together with a clearly defined strategic narrative. I have to say, it took a long while before the parts of this clicked into place for me. It took time for colleagues to embrace it. But if I may quote a councillor who spoke so eloquently in support, wake up, smell the coffee, there's no alternative, bring it on. <coughs> there is no alternative on the table, no suggested variance from our plans. I am delighted the opposition is now on board. We have the alternative budgets and they all what central tenants. I'm grateful for that acceptance. Now, we still have the opposition from the mysterious BAPS group with its eccentric socialists, American exiles, bloggers, and the cafe owner. Who is it that funds them? Is it the TUC? Is it Unison? Who knows? Are you if someone that? would tell me one day, I'd be deeply... Not scared. a banker like the Tories. We have a judicial review <laughs> or as to the process by yeah. which some of the decisions we've taken have been made. Now, these regard the back office project and the DRS one. Okay, everyone has a right to speak to the courts and that's legitimate. The inevitable cost the consequence of delay will be difficult. A protracted delay will cause deferral of the savings and it will be necessary to find quick cuts and the inevitable redundancies. I don't see how a union can support this course damaging its members' job prospects. And they will damage them very quickly too.